What's going on guys? As you can see, today we are not in Louisiana. We are in Nashville, Tennessee. And right now we're heading to a waterfall. It's a really cool little area. It's like a trickle down waterfall spring. And there's loads of salamanders there. So we're gonna go and see what we can find. Let's go. We've got a good bit of distance to cover before we get to the waterfall. So on the way, we're going to be looking for some other animals. I can't believe there's nothing under that. No way. It's a rat snake. It followed me to Tennessee. Oh, it's trying to bite me. Come here. Yeah, it's alright, buddy. Oh, he got a mouthful of dirt. You okay, buddy? Look, I'm sorry. Look, I'll get that out. I'll get that out. I'm trying to get the dirt out. Oh, no, no, I'm trying to get the dirt out, buddy. Hang on. I need a stick. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to do that to you. There we go. Got the dirt out. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Well, this is a gray rat snake. They were supposed to get black rat snakes up here. I didn't know they got grays. They followed me from Louisiana. Always a cool snake to find, though. The gray rat snakes have a much lighter color, and they can vary pretty well. The ones in uh, Florida, they can get these what they call white oak rat snakes which is a subspecies of gray rat, and they're almost solid white, which is really cool. Whitish belly with a little checkering, and he stopped trying to bite me pretty quickly, huh, buddy? Yeah, so after I got that dirt out of his mouth, he stopped trying to bite me. They're really good climbers, as you can see here, and their cousins, the black rat snakes, are one of the snakes that I'm wanting to find for an episode for you guys up here. All right, little buddy, back on your little rock wall here. Sorry to disturb you. It's always fun finding snakes, but we're looking for salamanders. And honestly, I'm pretty sure we're lost. I'm just gonna be honest, there's a 50% chance that we're lost, not knowing where we're going to get to this waterfall. It's like tradition for us to get lost going to this place. Never get here the first try, ever. Never have, probably never will. Being lost does have its perks. We're running into areas that are great for all kinds of different animals, including chipmunks. Oh. See him? Nice. And that's about as close as we're gonna get to that chipmunk. Look at how fast he was. That was pretty cool. We got to see a chipmunk. I don't think I'll be able to get a full video with one, but uh, I like seeing him, so I'm glad we got to film him. Yep, there it is. We made it. We weren't lost. Yay. We have made it to the waterfall. There's a little trickling waterfall. We're gonna go down there, and that's where the salamander's gonna be. Look at that. Fresh, clean water for these salamanders. You can find them under little rocks like this, and they'd be all up in these cracks and crevices. We're gonna head down there and uh, see if there's anything we can find. Now that we've made it, all that's left is to flip over some rocks and find some salamanders. There's a good rock. All right, here we go. Check that out. First salamanders of the day. We got two of them right next to each other. Come here, buddy. So this is a dusky. I'm gonna pick them both up. I'm gonna get the dusky. And up, oh, where'd he go? That was a little too long. Ah, I stopped watching him and he got away. It's fine. We'll find more. So check him out. This is ah. A little dusky salamander. Really cute little guy. Look at these guys. He's got a big, big old face, like a frog face. Now these little guys are probably one of the most common salamanders out here. In fact, this water, this little waterfall would have hundreds of them piled up right here. We're gonna see babies, we're gonna see adults, and we're gonna see how many of these little guys we can catch. But they're a normal looking brown salamander. And they're a really cool little fella. Small little legs, brown face, eyes right on top of his head. Whoop, it's okay. And what's cool is, just water everywhere. And I normally have to bring bottles of water to keep my hands wet when I handle them. I can just stick my hand straight down to where I can pick him up. So really cool. We're gonna find a bunch more of these guys in a second. So I'm gonna flip this rock over. I don't know where that two line went, but I'm sure we're gonna find more. There we go. This place is amazing. There's salamanders underneath practically every single rock. There's a little baby dusty. Oh, it's got frills, gill frills. Check it out. So look, look at how tiny he is. I'm gonna put him back in the water because he needs to breathe. 
But uh, check them out. Look. Little dude. Watch this. He's got gill frills. Look him. Oh, too long. Here we go. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Who can escape? They keep escaping me. Come here. No, 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 no. Got it. Oh, 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 oh. Come here. Come here, little fatty. Got him. Oh, that's a little fat one. This is a two line salamander. These guys are pretty common up here. It's got a cute little face. Now they've got two black lines on the side of them, and they've got this speckling down the back. They don't get nearly as big as the three line salamander, which we've shown in the past. And uh, these little spots don't make a straight band down their back. You're really fat. You've been eating worms, huh? Look at how fat it is. It's a little fatty. They really love this clear water. We don't get too many two lines down in Louisiana, but we do get a couple of them. That's a really cool one. That yellow belly is super vibrant. Look at that. All right, see you, buddy. Oh, buddy. Check him out. Another dusky salamander. These guys are just everywhere in here. These little pools of water are perfect for these guys to lay their eggs in and to uh, find all sorts of worms in. I'm going to put him in this little pool of water right here. Alright, here we go. This is a good one. Yep, here we go. This is a good one. Check that out. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Come here, buddy. Check that out. They don't have too many predators here. And they're really stacked up. I mean, they just kind of live in a little colony here. Also, lots of two lines. There was one sitting right next to this one. And they don't seem to bother each other too much. They just kind of live their life eating worms and stuff. I don't see too many of these guys in Louisiana, but they do live down there. I mean, this place is just stacked with salamanders. It's crazy. All right, buddy. Get back under your rock. There you go. It's a good thing there's so many salamanders. Because catching them is hard enough. That's a big, even when there's big dusty. Of them. Pretty hard to grab. Ah! Goodness, come here. Come here, come here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't get away. Okay, you get away. Ah. Come here, buddy. Come here. Ah! These guys are so slippery, I gotta tell you. Come here. Oh, geez. Geez. Ah, look at that. Another dusty. Oh, he's got a little nub tail. Look at that. It's growing back, though, so that's good. Cute little guy. I mean, they're just everywhere. These guys are a lungless species of salamander, which means they absorb oxygen through their skin, and they can get it through the water and the air. Now, this is one of the most common dusky salamanders you can find anywhere in the world, and they're super common, especially around stuff like this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like, and I will see you guys next time. All right, see you, little buddy. All right, we're gonna walk back. Ready, one, two, three.